We are all aware that human history has been marked by numerous wars, including World Wars I and II. As the Third World War is about to break out, numerous instances have already occurred. I'm going to show the occurrence today in this video. These are the Russian submarines that served as a shield against the United States in the conflict of 1971, defending the Indian Navy. India was threatened by the US to end the 1971 war 50 years ago. India addressed and sows to the Soviet Union out of concern. A tale that was nearly dropped from Indian history textbooks. Kissinger convinced Nixon to dispatch the US 7th Fleet Task Force, commanded by the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier USS Enterprise, to the Bay of Bengal, when Pakistan's loss in the 1971 war appeared to be a foregone conclusion. With almost 70 fighters, the 75,000-ton USS Enterprise was the largest nuclear-powered aircraft carrier in the world in the 1970s. A sea monster moving across the water's surface. The 20,000-ton aircraft carrier Vikrant, which was carrying 20 light combat aircraft, was in command of the Indian Navy's fleet. Unofficially, the USS Enterprise was sent to the Bay of Bengal to scare the Indian Army and prevent the freedom of East Pakistan, while it was ostensibly there to defend American civilians in Bangladesh. India soon received more negative news. A formidable British naval fleet, led by the aircraft carrier HMS Eagle and the commando carrier HMS Albion, as well as several destroyers and other ships, were reportedly approaching the Arabian Sea from the West and Indian waters, according to Soviet intelligence. British ships in the Arabian Sea would assault India's west coast, while American ships would attack in Chittagong as part of a coordinated naval attack to scare India. Between British and American ships was the Indian Navy. In December 1971, the two largest democracies in the world were posing a danger to the largest democracy in the world. Delhi dispatched and sows to Moscow. Six nuclear submarines and 16 Soviet naval forces were quickly sent from Vladivostok by the Red Navy to block the USS Enterprise. The head of the Indian Navy's Eastern Command, Admiral N. Krishnan, expressed his concern that the Americans would reach Chittagong in his book, No Way But Surrender. He talked about how he had considered striking the Enterprise in a last-ditch effort to slow it down. A task force from the U.S. 7th Fleet arrived in the Bay of Bengal on December 2, 1971, under the command of the enormous ship USS Enterprise. In the Arabian Sea, the British fleet was approaching. All of humanity held its breath. However, the Americans were overtaken by submerged Soviet submarines without their knowledge. Soviet submarines suddenly appeared as the USS Enterprise approached East Pakistan. Indian and American naval forces were now separated by Soviet submarines. Americans surprised surprised. The commander of the 7th US fleet informed Admiral Gordon. We're too late, sir. Here come the Soviets. Compelled to withdraw the British and American fleets both turned back. And result was India won the war after 92,000 Pakistani soldiers surrender and the new country formed called Bangladesh. Most Indians nowadays are unaware of the significant naval chess match that took place in the Bay of Bengal between the two superpowers. It is crucial to keep this in mind. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.